Hello and welcome back to the Top 85 Games for the BBC Micro Video Countdown series. In at number 14, it's Labyrinth. This was released by Acorn Soft in 1984 and it was developed by a young Michael Matheson who wrote the game aged 18 and then turned up to one of Acorn Soft's computer fairs, loaded it onto one of the machines at their stall and hoped that he would spark interest from passers-by. It obviously worked because Acorn Soft decided to publish the game. Um, he actually originally called it Labyrinthia, but they decided to release it under the catchier title of Labyrinth. Now, despite coming out in the 1980s, it doesn't bear any resemblance to anything else that you might think of from that era with the name Labyrinth. Um, but the game had a very long shelf life. Uh, it was also released under the Acorn Soft Hits 2 compilation. And it was a game that I associate very strongly with a friend of mine. Uh, I used to play it when I went round to their house, and I also enjoyed watching them play it. And you're now going to watch me play it. Right, here we are, Acorn Soft Labyrinth. So our character is called Mork. In fact, all of this text that you can see here that's been added to the uh, emulation uh, version of the game is um, something that Acorn Soft themselves wrote. Uh, so the game didn't have uh, technically a story or, or names for the various characters when uh, Michael developed it, but uh, this was all added as part of being published. And here we are, here is Mork. You can go up, down, left, right, and he's got this rather charming boulder. In fact, a lot of Labyrinth is really about boulder management, um, because you need to use the boulder. Oh, there's a headless chick in there. Uh, you need to use the um, boulder as your sort of weapon. You have got a gun as well, um, which you can use, um, but uh, it's, it, it's it's sort of has limited effects depending on uh, which, uh, which baddie you're using it against, whereas the boulder... The boulder is the great leveller. Uh, it will kill pretty much anything, so long as you can line it up, as I'm not managing to do here, um, in in, in uh, the path of the, the baddie. There we go. Squish. Um, and uh, that's really why you need to keep moving it from room to room. Now, you need the fruit as well. The fruit keeps your energy level topped up. That's at the, uh, the top left-hand corner there. Um, I think these things are called threshers, uh, those bad guys, but I say they really look like... Um, chickens that you buy in the supermarket sort of roaming around uh, yeah oh, there we go uh, if you get your boulder up against the edge of the wall you can bounce it back oh, gosh three of them here oh, you're killing fields let's see obviously you don't have to kill everything that you see um, but it does help because they don't they don't they don't respawn um, well unless they've unless they've originated from a spawning field which we'll see later on now that's the force field there, so that's where you, you basically need to clear each level by getting through the force field, but to get through the force field you have to collect a magic crystal, which we haven't yet done. Um, it's another Jim Henson reference there, the dark crystal perhaps. Um, so yes, you have to navigate your way to find the crystal first, a couple of apples, don't mind if I do, and um, once you've got the crystal the force field disappears, and you can get through to the next phase. Um, you can tell the difference between each level because the background um, and also the sort of the detail of the wall changes from, from oh dear, oh, very good, changes from one level to the next. So you'll notice you can kill bad guys as I just did by running into them, but obviously it significantly uh, lowers your energy. But here's my crystal. That's what I need, and I don't really need to be bothered. Oh dear. The crystal gives you an energy boost, as you have probably noticed, um, but I managed to waste that by running into one of the threshers there. So now that I've got the crystal, um, what that means is that if I go back to the room where the force field was before, uh, it will have disappeared. So um, that's, that's, that's how we get from one level to the next. Uh, that's assuming I can remember the way back, of course. The game isn't called Labyrinth for nothing. Um, it, is, it is a maze use my laser. This troublesome chicken. Oh dear. There we go. I think it'd take a couple of zaps to uh, to kill them. There we go. He's squashed. There we are, and that sound indicates that I've gone through to the next uh, the next level. My crystal did its did its work. Now this room is pointless. I can't get out of it, so I'm going to go this way instead, I think. Oop, no, the apple. 
Now you get uh, you get a couple of lives with Labyrinth. Uh, you can see them represented by the stick men up in the top right there. Ooh, a bit of watermelon. I love that. Uh, and it's not a it's not as brutal as some games of the era. So if you do lose a life, which I'm sure I'll do sooner or later, um, it doesn't put you right back at the beginning. But it does uh, it does put you to the beginning of the level that you've um, you've most recently entered. And if you've let if you died in a room where um, which is further away, and you obviously your boulder was left behind in that room. Oh my lord! Oof. Uh, then you have to go and recover your boulder. As I say, it is a game of boulder management. Now, that wasn't a true force field that I've just bashed through there, um, but you do need the boulder to get into the room. Uh, oh, dear. That wasn't very sensible, was it? So now you can see, of course, I died, um, and it's returned me to the beginning of that particular level, and I don't have my boulder anymore. And uh, you can't survive very long in Labyrinth without the old boulder, so I need to go and get that back. Uh, and in fact, oh, oh gosh, it was in a room where the crystal was anyway, so I needed to come to this room regardless. But now I'm reunited with my boulder. There's also my my tombstone is still there. Slightly macabre. Uh, Mork sees where he died previously. There we go. Uh, come out of here. Now we've got the crystal. Uh, I need to go and find the. Oh, hello. Yes, Michael did some clever programming with this game um, because it, it, it gives the illusion of the uh, the baddies following you from room to room. So you can't. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you can't linger for too long, and if you do leave bad guys behind, uh, they will have a tendency to follow you. Some rather clever coding to achieve that effect, apparently, um, because obviously once you've left a room, the bad guy doesn't technically have a life of its own, but it gives the illusion of it, which is rather clever. Let's see. Let's come back up here. Dancing chicken. Da, 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 da. Rubber chicken, that's what I'm thinking of. It looks like a rubber chicken. Yeah. Sort of rubber chicken doing some kind of dance. Oh, now, this is the old level. No, I'm going to come back in here. I've already, already dealt with this one. Sorry, let's go back again. That's the thing with the uh, once the force field has been cleared, you oh, well, not this room again. Uh, you don't realise necessarily um, that uh, you're going back on yourself. Let's, uh, let's see. I'm not overly keen uh, on the constant sound of his footsteps. I think it's a little bit. After a while, it gets a little bit tiresome. But the other sound effects, particularly when you ca capture the crystal, I think those are excellent. There's some really clever, really clever sounds. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have background music, uh, which I think a little bit of background music. Whether that would be preferable to the sound of him walking around, I don't know. But uh, it's a minor criticism, as I say. It's a true puzzle adventure game, this one. And uh, the the threat level definitely increased. Oh, there's a now that down at the bottom there. If you saw it, looked a bit like the egg from Alien. Uh, that's a spawning site. So if you if you if you kill the original bad guy that spawns. Ah, here we go. Next level. Uh, if you kill the bad guy that spawns from there, then it it will stop any further bad guys from spawning. But uh, if you don't, it can certainly on some of the later levels, it can continue to produce more bad guys. And it can quickly get out of control. Ooh, pineapple. And a very odd-looking jellyfish. Um, let's grab some fruit. There you go. There's some more spawning sites here. The best thing to do is to... Oh, oh dear. Is to try and get them before uh, before they spawn. Oh, goodness. I'm losing energy all over the place here. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Well, I'm going to go and recover my boulder. Oh, goodness. See, without the boulder in front of you, it's very easy to run from one room into the next and just collide with a bad guy that happens to be in there. Right. Now, let's try not to wipe myself out immediately here. Let's see. Let's go over into the next room. A piece of watermelon. Don't mind if I do. Now there is some uh, there is some thinking that says strategically you shouldn't necessarily grab every piece of fruit that you see because although it tops up your energy, um, if you do end up in oh, 
here. If you do end up in a predicament where you your energy bar goes red, um, if it does turn red, then at that point uh, you need to eat a piece of fruit immediately, otherwise you'll just die. Um, because the red will just count down. Now this bad guy is interesting. He shoots things, and you'll notice that if he shoots your boulder, it moves. Um, which is particularly problematic if you happen to be standing behind the boulder at the time because it squishes you. you know, your boulder acts against you in that scenario. So you have to be very careful around this, this bad guy. Right, pop that there. And then I'll go into the next room. I have to abandon my boulder. Oh, there you go. Unfortunately, you see, as I was behind the boulder at the time, um, it squished me, so... What we're going to do now is a little bit of creative editing so we don't have to start from the beginning uh, and we will pick things up where we left off. Right, so this time I've managed to get my boulder out of the way. Oh my word, and I'm in a room of pain here. There's all sorts going on, but I do need that crystal down at the bottom there. So let's squish this one and shoot that one. And then for this, I think it's just a matter of timing, really. So we'll just wait for it to bounce up and down, up and down. Super crystal. I love that sound effect. Really good. Oh, well, I didn't manage to navigate that one very well, but anyway, never mind. I've got the crystal, which is the main thing. Um, so now we need to go off in search of... Get past this guy. In search of our uh, force field. Now, on some of the later levels, you get those those square-shaped bad guys that shoot, and they can also move, and they're particularly challenging, although it, if you time it right, you can squash them with your boulder. Oh, I'll just leave that there, I think. I can't quite remember where I have and haven't been. Um, let's see, have I gone down here before? No, no. There's fruit and a ooh, wibbly wobbly in here. Uh, I think I'll just leave him behind. Uh, oh, 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 he's following me now. Oh, that wasn't very good. Those pink, those pink jellyfish are pretty fast. I have to be pretty careful with them. Um, hmm. Oh, no, that's back into the old level again. Oh, on there, that's back there. Oh. Um, hmm remember where the force field is but I've got the crystal so you know we're halfway to the next level at least um, yeah, so this game falls squarely into the category of the puzzle the puzzle adventure game a sort of arcade puzzler the graphics are very much arcade style I think uh, it's one of the, one of the great things about labyrinth the graphics are very very good um, and it's got great uh, got great game not physics so much uh oh I've gone red if I don't find any fruit, I'm going to die. Um, but I think I've eaten all the fruit in the vicinity, so... Yeah. That's that. So, sadly, that's what happens if you don't keep your fruit topped up. Um, so, let's not repeat all of that. Uh, we will go to a later level. Uh, we'll assume that I managed to find the way out of the last one. Uh, we're now into a uh, sort of cuboid style... A bit of strawberry there, I'll take that. Another pineapple. Wibbly wobbler. Shoot him, I think. Now, I might be wrong, but I am I'm pretty sure that if you use your laser too much, it actually does reduce your energy levels. So you, you are better off using the boulder, and the boulder is more reliable in general. Ooh, oh, my word. Because, ow, the boulder will kill anything, whereas, ow, the laser doesn't always work, um, and indeed sometimes it can rebound off things, which is even worse. Right, so you can already tell that by this stage, I think we're on to the fourth level. Well, it's a lot harder because the um, the mechanics of the the bad guys is, as you can tell, they're a lot they're a lot faster, and they tend to walk into you a lot more. So sometimes you just have to charge with the boulder and hope that you. Oh, oh no, it's a spawning one. Uh, let's grab this strawberry here. Uh, shoot it, I think. Uh, oh no! Oh. That was painful. Um, right, let's go and see if I can recover my boulder. 
quite remember which way I went before. I think it was over here. Let's keep going this way. I think. Mr. Boy, do apply the laser. Ah, there we go. There's my my tomb. Um, and we'll pick up from here. Oh, I missed that one. There we go. Oh, oh, hello. A bit more bad guy action going on here. Yeah, I'm not sure about going that way, with that green menace. Oh no, spawners! Just wipe them out, I think. Quite a nice little sound effect when they do spawn, though. But boom! It's quite good. Oh, now I need the boulder to get through there. Let's squish you. Uh, you can walk through those square barriers, but it wipes off quite a lot of your energy. Wow, this room is another room of craziness. Oh, goodness me! Oh, I'm doing it awfully. The amount of energy I just lost. Oh, oh, no, 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 I need to... Hang on, I need to get that back up there and down and across. There we go. Try and squish this one. I don't know. I haven't got very much energy to play with here. Whoa! Yeah, not my proudest moment there. I tried to run away and uh, that didn't really work. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll assume we got past that level. As you can see, there, there's the old level I was on before. Uh, and now we'll go into the next one. Um, now, there you go. There's one of these roving cube, well, sort of square-shaped bad guys. Um, they're particularly challenging. Oh, and a fast-moving jelly. Ah. You can't shoot the... Uh, <laughs> Well, you can shoot. I'm trying to remember, I don't think you can't shoot the square ones. Oh, oh. Indeed, it just shot me instead, which is uh, great. Um, yeah, but you, you just have to avoid them really, and then hope you can line up the, the boulder at a suitable interval. Goodness gracious! You get past this room at this point. Uh, right, go on. There we go. Right, uh, try and. That one. Oh, nice bit of fruit here. Positively Pac-Man. Cherries and strawberries galore. Right. Let's go over here. Uh, I don't know why I've gone right. What, what am I doing? Is... No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need the boulder for that room. Uh, let's go up here and then we're going to the next room and bounce it backwards. Oh, goodness, now this thing's coming. Oh! No, I, I don't want. I don't want that. Aww. and it pushed my boulder back on top of me. Superb. Um, right, Let's rescue the boulder. Ah. Well, I haven't rescued my boulder. I've left it in the other room. Got a full energy bank though. Oh no, spawning sites. Ah. Uh oh, now they're chasing me. Yeah, and spawning some more. Oh goodness me. This is disaster. Oh. That was awful. Um, but I hope it gives you a flavour of how much more difficult the game really does be get, become. Um, but I think we, we might apply a little bit more of the old creative editing because uh, we don't want to spend too long on the same level. So, let's see. That was the level I was in before, and now we can move forward into the next the next realm of Labyrinth. I think there are seven in total. Um, I think the game was originally designed, planned to just finish when you, when you completed the seventh level, but as was fairly commonplace back in the day, um, to get the sort of most value out of a game, most games companies would... Oh, hello. That's, that's the force field room. Most games companies would uh, make the game loop uh, so that it gave you more sort of playing potential and also more potential for a greater high score. Um, most Acorn Soft games have a high score table um, along with the, um, the loading screen. The Acorn Soft high score table is, is fairly common to most of their games. So by having the game loop round when you when you so-called complete it means that you can play. Oh dear! 
got squished again. Um, it means that you can obviously go for a higher score. Um, right. Okay. Let's see. Um, I left my boulder down here somewhere. Uh, maybe it was around here. Ah, there it is. Oof. <laughs> Almost had the same death again then. Right, let's go through here. And then we'll go up. I need to find the crystal. Nope, that's back in the old level again. I need to find the crystal because I did find the force field room. Um, but without the crystal, there's no point trying to take on the bad guys in that room. Because it'll just waste your energy and waste your lives, really. So, I'm uh, just going to do a quick bit of scouting. Ooh. Ooh, diamond bad guy. They're not. They're really nasty. Yeah, right. Okay. This is the force field room. You know what? I think rather than waste too much time, I'm going to take us forward to um, another level. I think because this is as far as I uh, have ever got in Labyrinth. I've never managed to get past this particular level myself. Um, not for want of trying, uh, but. Uh, I dare say one of these days I might look up a walkthrough and figure it out. To be honest, Labyrinth is less about solving puzzles um, as it is about just staying alive, really. Um, unlike other puzzler, puzzle adventures, the, the puzzles aren't too, um, too much of a challenge. It's mainly a case of boulder management and survival. Um, and once you've figured out... Well, you know where places are on on within the labyrinth. You can, I imagine, get through. Oh my goodness me! Look at this. This this is this is a crazy room. Absolutely crazy. Um. Hmm. Right. Uh, let me pop this up here. Ow! Meeting my doom yet again. Right. So that was the old level. Um. Here we go. I, I like the uh, the addition of the acorns here. I have a suspicion those might have been thrown in um, by Ma by Michael after he'd had the agreement from Acornsoft to uh, publish the game. Nice little Acorn reference. Does keep you fairly well topped up with energy, and it's not it's not too challenging from that point of view. Tiger moth down there, but uh, it's yeah, it's just a as I say, a survival game uh, with a, with a small amount of a small amount of puzzle puzzling along the way. And mapping it out. It's definitely a game that would benefit from a map on paper to uh, guide you through. I like those kind of weird mosaic monsters. They're quite uh, they're quite intriguing, aren't they? Now I do have the old um, the old crystal there, but uh, I think, to be honest, um, we've probably gone as far as uh, we're going to go with Labyrinth at this point. I've, uh, I've been playing for nearly 20 minutes, so I think we'll leave it there. Um, this is, as I say, a fantastic game. Um, if you like puzzle adventures, if you like roaming around mazes and general sort of survival games, uh, it's really good fun and a bit of boulder management thrown in there as well. So yes, that was Labyrinth. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Uh, I hope you'll agree with me that it's very deserving of its place at number 14. Uh, do leave me a comment if this is one of your favourites. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and until the next time, uh, goodbye.